Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is a huge Friday inside of FIFA 21 because of that loading screen and the promo we are getting today. Footies is here. We are getting footies today in FIFA 21. Now we already know some of the content that is going to be coming because of the vote that happened earlier this week on Wednesday. I want to talk about what to expect today in terms of SBCs, objectives, what cards are going to be in packs based off of this loading screen that we saw. What does this loading screen mean? I want to talk about that and a lot of things were added to the code yesterday along with preview packs are not done. EA pulled a fast one on us today and they said, and they released some information. You probably saw it as you were loading into FIFA. Preview packs are not done. The store is going to look a lot different. There's actually going to be maintenance in about an hour or so that is going to fix up the store, change it up, and they are going to be adding some new things in. And I'm going to talk about that as well. But first, what I want to talk about is footies. And I want to show you again, the stuff that is on that main screen, this screen right here. I know it's, the image is a little bit grainy, but you can see what it is, right? These are the different types of promo cards that should be re-released back into packs today, right? Again, we've been talking about it. We're not expecting brand new footies cards to be in packs. We are expecting a re-release of some of these items to be put back in the game. So team of the years, basically this is every single promo up until team of the season, except there's a couple cards that are not in here. Future stars items are not a part of this list. Neither are team of the weeks, um, which is kind of interesting as well. But there's going to be a ton of special cards that are back in packs today on Friday. That is the expectation. So, of course, as people have seen these cards on the loading screen, you've already started to see some sell-off. And some of these prices have gone down as people are expecting these cards to be in packs today. Perfect example is Alfonso Davies, right? You've seen a little bit of the sell-off happen already. Alfonso Davies was 460, 470,000 coins. He went all the way down to 390, actually bounced back to about 420,000 coins. But I'm telling you this right now with the preview packs that are going to be on the game. There's going to be preview packs today. We were expecting there not to be, but for all of these special cards... People are going to be opening preview packs today and it's going to supply the market big time with these cards because think about it this way. When you have all these different special cards that are in packs, the amount of value that you're getting back from these preview packs is so much better than you normally do because instead of getting a normal 85 rated gold, that card might have an 87 rated inform or something that is in packs and you're going to get a lot more value from it. Now, what that's going to do is people are going to profit off of their preview packs, it's going to bring a ton of supply to the market and it's going to crash prices big time because of course, with all this supply, people might not even want to buy some of these cards that are getting re-released. Like who really is, um, you know, wanting to buy some of those record breaker cards or some of these cards that were, have been released, you know, that are just not meta in this stage of the game anymore. Like you take a look at this Jovic card, 89 rated. If he is re-released back into packs today, he could go to like 20K. He really could because there's going to be so much supply on the market and really not a ton of people are going to want to buy those except for SBC fodder or, you know, whatever. So I just think that there's a huge potential today for a lot of these cards to really, really drop off in price. And I'm really interested to see what cards they put in packs because, of course, with the, you know, team of the year card design being on this loading screen, does that mean all team of the years are going to be in packs? What about like Mbappe? Mbappe has a record breaker card and a team of the year. Van Dyke has a record breaker and a team of the year. It's going to be interesting to see today what they release because it doesn't necessarily mean that all the entire, all the foot birthdays, all the record breakers, all the team of the years, not all of them will be in packs today. EA is probably going to pick some specific few cards and then release those. And I, I doubt it would literally be all of these different types of cards. Because of course, again, like the Mbappe, like the Van Dyke, you can only have one special card that is in packs at the same time. They can't have both the record breaker and the team of the year in packs at the same time. As far as I'm pretty sure that's never been possible before. But these are the types of cards that we will see back in packs today. But it's really, I think these cards, and I think the, those guys being in packs is really going to affect the market a lot. I really do think that it is because with those preview packs continuing, which we were not expecting, you're going to see so many people, I think, getting good preview packs today and actually going out 
and buying those packs with coins or with FIFA points and trying to make a profit off of them. I really think you're going to see a lot of that today, not even with these really high team of the year cards. It's going to really end up being a lot of the lower tier cards, a lot of the you know headliners, what ifs, ones to watches that are going to be in a lot of packs um, that is going to make people profit today. So I'm expecting the market to crash a decent amount today just because of those preview packs and how it's going to drop prices across the game. Um, but honestly, what really is a big part of today is the SBCs. Now we're going to talk about preview packs again and the whole situation with that, but I really want to talk about what to expect today content wise, SBC wise, because footies is an SBC based promo, right? We have a lot of cards that are going to be a lot of SBCs that are going to be expiring today. The player picks, um, uh, you know, this Paqueta, the Dolberg, some of your Festival of Foot challenges are going to be expiring today. Uh, I wonder if some of these SBCs that I've completed are going to be expiring today as well, like some of these upgrade packs. All that's probably going to go away. Now, one thing we guaranteed, uh, we are guaranteed to have today is a left mid Carvajal SBC because we are like really, really sure that he won the vote over Manolas. And we are expecting him to get a footies card today. Now, this is the actual card design. This was added to the code uh, earlier tonight. Of course, it is different. It is a lot more, I guess you could say, regal and definitely more um, pretty than the nominee card design. So this is the actual footies card design of a, a winner. So like Carvajal is going to have a boosted and upgraded left mid item today. That is one of the SBCs that we are 100% expecting. I would also expect to see another player vote. Again, we've talked about this the past two days. They'll probably release a player vote on the same day as a winner SBC is released. So it's every other day we're going to have a vote and a winning footies player item released in this game. So that is 100% what we would expect today inside of the SBC section. I don't know if they would drop any other player SBCs or anything other than that. They might start re-releasing some of the older content. We could even see that as early as today. That's something that's happened in footies. Re-released SBCs from earlier on this year, maybe like a Marcelo flashback, maybe a Coutinho flashback SBC. You know, some of those SBCs that have happened in the past couple months that are still pretty high rated, maybe the Rooney SBC gets re-released, right? That could be the type of content that we see today. Now, also, I would expect objectives. Now, last year, as a part of the Summer Heat promo, which was almost the same thing as footies, we saw a Foot Academy. It was based, it was called a Summer Heat Fan Favorite, but it was one of those tiered objectives, right? Where you had an 85 for Lynn Mendy, then you played a few games, completed objectives, unlocked the 87 version, played a few more games, unlocked the 89 and then you played a few more games to unlock the final version. Now, I'm wondering, we haven't had an objective like that in a long time, since like Future Stars, so I'm really wondering if we're gonna have an objective like that today, if they're gonna bring that concept back out in the game. And the hype levels of the content today, for me, really rely on the objective player, if it's a big name player, if it's a juiced up card, and again, the SBCs. Because yes, we're gonna have these cards in packs, and that's gonna be cool. It's gonna be fun to open packs because you're just gonna see a whole bunch of different special cards, whole bunch of different colors, and it's gonna be fun. But in my opinion, the content of footies today is really gonna be dependent upon the SBCs, how much they juice Carvajal, because that's gonna set a standard, right? The Carvajal SBC is gonna set a standard for how footies is probably gonna play out for the rest of this week, and probably this being a two to three week promo if we're being realistic. So that's what I'm really looking to seeing today and really, I guess, thinking about seeing content why? So let's talk about a few other things. What is going to happen to uh, the market today with the preview packs? Again, I want to talk about these pitch notes just a little bit because this was information yesterday that EA told us about in relating, relating to the preview packs. Now, I talked about it in the past few videos. We were expecting preview packs to be done. We were expecting things to go back to the old way, but EA said, hold up. We have different plans because they have a new store look. Basically, starting today, the foot store, it's going to be updated. And there's going to be preview packs and old packs, which are just standard packs, right? So it's going to be, there's going to be so many packs in the store. It's actually going to be kind of crazy. Um, you're going to have your preview packs for the 5Ks. Everything from, it sounds like, from bronze packs up to gold packs and beyond. You're going to have the normal ones. Uh, like if you think about basically how packs have always been in FIFA, where you just buy the pack, opens it up, whether it's with FIFA points or coins, that's the old way, right? And then of course, there's a new way with the preview pack. There's going to be basically double in the store, a preview option 
and a standard. Here, this sentence sums it up. Both the standard foot packs and the preview packs will function in the same manner as they did previously. So players will have the option of which foot packs they want to engage with. So if you're somebody who likes to spam lightning rounds and you're going to spam lightning rounds today, you probably want to go with the standard packs because it's easier to spam packs over and over and over the old way, right? Now, the new way is going to be interesting as well because, you know, you're going to be able to maybe even open some of those packs with coins if you're trying to make, you know, like the 5K pack methods, the 7.5K pack method, depending on how many special cards are in packs today, could be profitable. Opening those packs with coins, selling the contents, we'll have to, you know, decide that and look at that when it comes out. But it just really, the store is going to look different because there's going to be preview packs and the standard packs, which to me, it, especially if they do like double lightning rounds, like preview pack lightning rounds and non-preview pack lightning rounds, that's going to be very, very interesting. And that's going to bring a ton of supply to the market today if that is going to be the way that it goes. So preview packs today, though, for me, really makes me think that a lot of these cards that are going to be in packs, like the what ifs, um, you know, we look down the list here and we, and we know that we're getting uh, foot birthdays in packs today. Ferlin Mendy was 470,000 coins. He's now down to 390. And this is one thing that I want you guys to keep an eye out for today. Last year, I made a lot of coins doing this when they re-release cards back in packs. Watch out on your popular meta and rare slash harder to pack items out of these teams. So Sané, Lucas, and Mendy for sure from Foot Birthday, this team, maybe the other Foot Birthday team, you're looking at Sterling, you're looking at Adama or Awar, um, may even Tamori for, or Atal for a lower lower tier, lower price option. Watch out for these cards because there's going to be a lot of panic selling still and there's going to be a lot of supply in that first hour and cards that are meta, especially Team of the Years. I'm really going to keep an eye on Team of the Years today um, because if these guys have huge drop-offs like a Van Dyke, a, a Trent Alexander-Arnold, a Bruno Fernandez, an Mbappe, a Ronaldo, a Messi. I'm going to keep an eye on these because if there's a huge drop off with the supply and the panic selling, again, these cards are going to get cheap. They're still a weekend league to play this weekend. They could very easily bounce back. So I want to definitely keep an eye on some of that stuff today. Just watch your most popular meta cards that are a part of these different items that are coming out. Again, I would really just focus on foot birthday maybe foot freeze, maybe some of the road to the finals, team of the years, and maybe a couple headliners or what if cards, depends on which items actually get re-released. Again, the more rare and meta that, that card is, the better it's probably going to do and have a chance to rebound. So I'm going to be looking at that today. Also, they added some new packs to the code. This is tweeted out by Footwatch last night. All this pack code is, is a bunch of preview packs, right? You have an 81 plus rare three. You have an 80 plus rare five, an 81 plus rare seven. And these are all preview packs. So they're going to be in the store, right? Prime gold players pack, rare players pack. Like it's just a lot of preview packs. The first three of these are basically just preview packs, right? Now, there's an interesting pack that they added called an 87 plus star rare player pack. And we've never heard something related as a star. So I'm. this is where the question marks for me come in today. What is a star rare player pack? Because there's two versions of this pack code, right? This, um, this star rare player pack says that it contains 12 rare gold players, one player guaranteed to be 87 plus. So is that one player that's 87 plus guaranteed, like called a star? Or is there some other thing that they're going to talk about today that they're going to name a star, right? Like are the players released back in packs stars or something like that? I don't know. Um, but that is something that we're very curious about. What does that mean? They are, they're also adding what seems to be a new SBC pack to the code since it was not added as a preview pack, just a normal pack code. Uh, two of them actually, an 85 to 90 rated rare player and a 85 times 10. 85 times 10 pack would be very interesting. That is in the code. I would expect that to be an SBC, whether if it's today or whether it's later on during the week of footies. Same thing with an 85 to 90 rated rare player. That would be a really easy SBC that EA could make that would be repeatable. Let's say let's say they require like an 81 or at most an 82 rated squad for an 85 to 90 player. Um, hopefully it costs that much. And that would be something where if you have a lot of 81s or 82s, you can go put them in and get a higher rated player to help you do SBCs. I feel like that should be a repeatable SBC. Just keep an eye out for that today for maybe a part of the content 
as well. But I wanted to cover those things and talk about that. Again, today is footies, right? It's all about the, the footies cards, the cards that get re-released. Hopefully we have some sort of engagement reward packs today as well. That's been th something that we've looking for, been looking forward to and talked about. And hopefully they continue to put out hype players at a as a part of these votes, right? When we have the votes today, again, we're expecting Carvajal to win because he is the higher rated player and those cards that they released in the vote were not loans. They were legit items. So people really are gonna go for that fodder. Now for the rest of the market today, how is the market gonna react to all this stuff going on? I honestly think if you have a, a team of the year Messi, even though it's lower rated than this Summer Stars version, if you have a lower tier version of Messi, that's not that much worse, right? A 98 Messi versus a 99. I know there's a big upgrade on some of these cards, especially like Neymar, right? I do think that the whole market is going to drop off a little bit today because if people are buying coins, if they're buying preview packs with coins, that's actually taking coins off of the market. That's kind of hard to kind of to be a concept to think about. But even though your account's getting more coins, you're actually as a whole taking coins off the market. Now, if people are buying the packs with FIFA points, that put, picks the market up and put, puts coins on. But uh, I do think the market's going to drop more today. All the cards that are going to get re-released in packs are going to drop 100% with the supply. Now, the interesting thing is SBC fodder. And I want to talk about this. And again, as I was saying, I really feel like the fodder prices today and how these cards move on the market is 100% dependent upon how hype the content is. Because a lot of these cards, a lot of these gold cards might have special items that are going to be coming into packs and would mean their gold card is going out of packs. Remember yesterday's video, we looked at the Serge Nabry. He had a special card that came into packs, which meant his gold card was no longer being packed. And 84 rateds absolutely flew during this time last year. So I don't know how many cards are going to release in packs today, but what I would really look out for are some of the 84, 80, 83, 84, and 85 rated players that are going to have a special item that come out in packs today and then getting their gold card. What you could do is when they drop the list of players that is shown today, um, you could go look for gold cards of those players that are going to be in. Not like high tier, like a Ronaldo, like a, a, a Mbappe or something like that. Some of those could go up, but I'd be looking more towards like um, a Kingsley Coman has like, you know, he, he has a Tots card, so that wouldn't be re-released. He, he won't be going out of packs tomorrow. Um, you know, so any of these cards that are 84s, I don't know if Taglifico has any special items or like Guerrero, if they release team of the week cards today, this Guerrero might go out of packs and he might have a team of the week item that is in packs, right? Or, you know, maybe a Sane foot birthday. Sane could be a great one, right? Sane foot birthday is probably going to be out today. This guy has a max price range of 25,000 coins as an 85 rated with really good links. This might be somebody that when you see a foot birthday Sané is listed as one of the cards that could be in packs today, maybe you go snag a couple Leroy Sanés. Even though he's already inflated in price a little bit, I think those could be cards that do really, really well. But again, the prices of the SBC fodder today are 100% dependent upon how good the content is. And the reason I'm not talking about 86s, 87s, 88s, and 89s is because this fodder is already really low. And what I'm really scared about is with all the supply coming to the market today, there's going to be a lot of promo cards that are going to get cheaper then these gold cards are on the market with all of that supply coming in from the preview packs. That's something that I'm kind of, you know, noticing. You already see this Zakaria as an 86 rated card is one of the cheapest 86s. You look down through this list here. Are there any special cards? Jovic. We just looked at him. We talked about him, right? Jovic's card, 38K. He could very easily be down in like the, the mid 20K range today with a lot of supply. The Brandt wants to watch. Um, Laporte, man of the match. If they're going to drop man of the matches and informs. Pepe's what if cards, 33K uh, on the cheaper range for an 88 rated. So I'm really worried about the high rated fodder, 86 and above, because I feel like special cards could, could push that down. But of the stuff that's going out of packs, that's the stuff that I'm interested in the most. But again, it really depends on the content that we see today on this game. But as it goes for like Path to Glory cards, maybe Summer Stars team too. A lot of you guys I know are wanting to wanting to know and wanting to say, hey, should I buy a Chiesa now or should I wait? Now, I, these Summer Stars items are so cheap already. Like this Kane is 200,000 coins. I packed Lukaku today. He's a 280K card. This guy is really good, by the way. Insane finisher, insane in the game. You know, I would say if there's any, I would wait to buy a couple of these um, 
summer stars items until what we see the content is today of course we know that these aren't getting re-released back in packs but you know you never know ea could pull something crazy on us now there's a couple qu quick real um little bit of information here there's a couple rumors going around about today um based upon a tweet that was released by an account that has a lot of quote unquote uh, source and information about you know stuff that's upcoming in the future. Sometimes the stuff is right, sometimes it's not. But the tweet reads that uh, the team that is coming out tomorrow, um, it says just think of a few players that were upgradable that didn't get their full potential of an upgrade. That makes me think of like road to the final players that you know didn't get their potential upgrade. So as EA can remember last year in FIFA 20 how. Um, EA gave all road to the final items plus threes, um, because of, you know, COVID delayed the games and they were, the, the cards were, you know, talked about and shown in the later part of the year when a lot of other high rated cards were out. So EA actually upgraded these cards like this and gave them a higher rating. So, you know, one thing I'll be looking at today is whatever kind of, I guess, interesting things EA could pull on us. Like they could update these road to the finals, give them all like plus twos and plus threes and then re-release them back into packs. That would be very interesting. And that'd be something that would be new and kind of crazy. So we're going to keep an eye on some of that stuff today. That's kind of the only like thing we're really unsure about. Like if that's just nonsense being talked about or if that is legit. So I wanted to kind of say something about that um, before we ended the video. But of course, Today also marks the end of Festival of Football, and I think we all need to give a couple claps to EA Sports for the Festival of Football promo with FOF Path to Glory cards. That was a, I think, pretty well done promo. I think the number of wins, it could have been a three win threshold or two win threshold instead of a three win. More cards would have been upgraded. Uh, and Summer Stars was great as well. High ratings, incredible boosts, great SBCs. I just think that the past four weeks of content, five weeks of content with the Euros and Copa America and all the stuff inside of FIFA has been a big W. So GG's to EA on that content. And hopefully, since they've set the bar up here, Hopefully it just continues at that high level. And that's why, again, I really am stressing it depends on the level of content today, how hype this footies promo is. So that's the video for today, boys. I know it's a bit longer, but there's a lot to talk about. I wanted to fit it all in. If you did enjoy it, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nathan Foot Accountant. I will catch you guys later. Peace out.